Here are some honorary mentions. In January 1720, Johann Friedrich Agricola was born. One of his claims to fame is the German translation of the singing method by Pier Francesco Tosi, one of the most insightful documents of the time, the 18th century. In the treatise, ornamentation and improvisation of cadenzas are discussed thoroughly. A wonderful quote to whet your appetite. Since the so-called improvised variations are the most beautiful that a singer can conceive of introducing, and the most pleasant that the connoisseur can hear, it is necessary that a singer should consider very seriously how he may learn the art of skillfully inventing them. Alexander Serov was born in January 1820 in St. Petersburg. In this case, we know of his wife, Valentina Serova, being an excellent improviser. They met in 1862 when Alexander heard her improvising and said, ah, too bad, you're not a boy. And she apparently answered, well, why can't a girl be a composer? The system was as it was, so she had to continue her studies with him privately. We also know from some exchanges with friends that Serov used improvisation in some of his compositional process. Jazz pianist and composer John Aaron Lewis was born May 3rd, 1920. His classical inspirations were mainly expressed in his compositions for the modern jazz quartet. He combined improvisational jazz techniques with compositional techniques from the European classical tradition. This crossover was called Third Stream by Gunther Schuller. He was also involved with the orchestra USA, which tried to find mergers between contemporary classical compositional techniques and improvisation. Finally, there are some interesting solo albums where he combines Bach's music with his own improvisation. My favorite centenary uh, in 2020 is that of James Hewitt. You may know that this is also the Scroll Ensemble's co-founder's name, but there was also a James Hewitt who was born June 4th, 1770 in Dartmoor in the UK. He ended up in America as an influential figure in the first decade of the 19th century, specifically in New York. Unfortunately, so far we have found nothing related to improvisation uh, about this James Hewitt, but we do know he was a composer.